Hello folks, this video is about interactive rebase in Git. Well what interactive rebase is that it's a tool provided by Git which allows you to rewrite history uh, in Git. So I came across this problem. I was working on a POC and uh, I have a habit of uh, doing everything that I do in uh, version control. So what I essentially did was that I started working on one computer. I did some changes and uh, I pushed those changes to Git. I did these uh, two first commits on uh, the first computer. Then I continued with uh, my work on uh, another computer and uh, I did these three commits uh, on the second one. So what I noticed was GitHub was showing my profile link for uh, these three commits but it was not showing my profile link for the two commits that I did on uh, another computer. So when I saw the log for this commit history, then I came to know about uh, what the actual problem was. Uh, let me just show you. So what essentially happened was that I did not had my email configured on uh, my other machine. So that is why I was committing with the wrong email address. So here you can see I have my personal email address uh, for these three commits but uh, it's not the same as uh, the email in these two commits. So that is what was causing the problem. So in order to rectify this I need to make changes into the first two commits and uh, I need to change the email address in, uh, in those two commits. Interactive rebase to the rescue. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go uh, back in my get history and I'm going to change the author for uh, these two commits. So the first thing that I need is uh, SHA40 hash for uh, this first commit. Just copy this one then start my rebase. I'll type git rebase hyphen i hyphen i is, uh, is the flag for interactive rebase. Then uh, paste your SHA40 hash and uh, you start with uh, your rebase. Now you see at the top there are four lines they represent uh, my top four commits and uh, not five commits. So the reason for that is uh, git is going to start the rebase process after the commit that I gave when I started the rebase uh, initially. So I gave the hash of the first commit so that is why the base for this rebase process is going to be my first commit and that is why git is giving me an option for 4 commits and uh, not 5 commits. I'll tell you in a bit how to start the rebase from, uh, from the first commit itself but for now let's uh, focus on this. So the editor that I see here it's uh, nano as uh, you see on, uh, on the title bar and the different options are uh, are at the bottom uh, i'm going to use just two of these options the first one is a write out which is uh, control plus o specified here and the second one is exit which is control plus x and you see here in the first four lines there's a keyword written in uh, in front of all of these commits and what this keyword means is uh, is specified on uh, on this line so pick means use the commit as is don't change anything in the commit reword means i need to change the commit message uh, edit means i'm going to use the commit but i stop for amending something in the commit squash means i want to squash uh, some commits into a single commit picks up i have never used it but uh, the message is it's like squash exec i don't know uh, but drop means uh, removing the commit so i'm going to use edit uh, because uh, i need to amend the author in uh, in in the second commit so instead of pick i'll i'll write edit here i'll just write edit now i need to save this so control o uh, is the write out it'll ask me where you want to save the file i'll just enter the file is saved now i need to exit with control x so i exited and now i'm in rebase mode so if i see the log now uh, sorry it's not log it's uh, status so if i see the status now then it says that i'm currently rebasing so i'm just going to change the author now i'll just type git commit double hyphen amend double hyphen author equals um, 
what was previously written but uh, now um, with the with the correct email address okay oops So Git is again asking me to write a commit message. I'm not going to change anything. So I'll just do control X, which is exit. So I exited there. Now I'll do git rebase double hyphen continue. So I continued and I just edited one commit. That is why the rebase is uh, finished. If I would have chosen two commits instead of one, then uh, the rebase would have stopped at the second comment now if I see the log then what it shows that it has not changed so I guess I must have done some mistake somewhere okay the edit was on oh my mistake the edit was on uh, last comment so that is why nothing changed now I need to rebase again uh, let's go to starting the rebase and uh, the first one I need to edit the first one not the last one so edit control O is the right it will ask me enter uh, then exit then the rebase is starting if you see the status and it says that uh, I'm currently editing uh, this commit now let's do that amend command again so this one was okay this was the one control o is the right then uh, press enter then press exit git rebase continue okay i'm successfully rebased if i see the log now so now this time i did it correctly and uh, the author has changed for the second commit but the author has not changed for the first commit because rebase did not give me an option to edit first commit and the reason for that is this commit does not have a parent commit if this commit had a parent then i would have given uh, get sj40 hash for for that commit and i was able to edit uh, author on this commit so for starting the rebase from root interactive rebase provides another option and uh, that option is root so i'll write git rebase interactive and double hyphen root so the rebase will now start from the first commit itself it's a pretty handy way of rebasing and this way you don't need to know the hash of uh, any commit you can just uh, add it from uh, from the start so i'll just again do add it i'll save this and i'll exit and again amend i have amended this now control o is the right enter and exit now git rebase double hyphen continue so I had uh, selected only one commit so the rebase finished and if I check the log now so the rebase has uh, successfully changed the author for, uh, for the first commit as well one thing to notice here is that uh, the commit hash has changed now previously it was starting with uh, 9906 now it's 93fo uh, something so the commit hash has changed uh, because the commit object is different this time but not just for this commit every commit which is being rebased it'll just be a copy of the previous commit so the hash for this uh, second commit it's different than uh, the second commit here so i did not made any changes into the second commit but uh, git did it changed the parent for the second commit and that is why the second commit has uh, also been changed uh, same is the case with all other comments. So that is how you rebase interactively in Git. And uh, that is all for this video. Thanks for watching.